my gosh. You guys, that's so embarrassing. Que onda cabrones, welcome back to my YouTube channel and on another day of Tequila Tuesday, we're gonna try something a little bit different. We're gonna try tequila in a can. What? Yeah, yeah, her tequila in a can. Now, when I went to go buy new tequila to try out for the channel, I actually came across this, which is painted donkey tequila, and I saw their water seltzer version, and I just felt like it was the thing to try. So I got two different uh, flavors. I got the pineapple and I got the watermelon. Wait, is it pineapple? Yes, it's pineapple. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so as you guys can see, these are our two drinks that we're going to be trying out today. And as I mentioned, we have our watermelon and we have our pineapple. Now, I tried looking up the website for uh, Donkey Punched. Wait, is it Donkey Punched? Painted <laughs> Donkey, Donkey Punch means something else. Just kidding. <laughs> don't look it up, do not Google Donkey Punch because I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, but anyways, so Painted Donkey, I tried looking it up on online and I couldn't find anything. However, I went to TotalWine.com as Total Wine always coming through. Again, that's where I actually purchased these and you could probably actually buy the package. Um, it looks like for $12.99, which sounds about right if I'm not mistaken, for the six pack. They have different flavors. You actually have the watermelon, the spicy ranch water, uh, ranch water, I don't know what the hell ranch water is. If you guys have tried it, let me know, or maybe I could do another second part on this brand specifically and trying the spicy ranch water and the ranch water. But the one we have here right now is the uh, pineapple and it states California refreshing low calorie, low carb, gluten free cocktail in a can made from 100% agave tequila, natural flavors, and sparkling water, bursting with fresh, fruity pineapple flavor. Try garnishing the rim with tahine for carefree days and vibrant nights. So this is obviously going to be kind of like uh, your white claws, your trulies. They're gonna, this is gonna be something a little bit lighter. The alcohol is not as, as uh, large. We're looking at about 4.2 alcohol. So it's a fairly uh, light drink. So for those who want that taste of tequila but don't want to go too heavy on the tequila, this is definitely the one to try. So we're gonna go ahead and do it as the way that I recommend on the site. Again, TotalWine.com is recommending that we go ahead and garnish the glasses with some tajin. So, as you guys can see here, I have my limes, and we're gonna go ahead and rim the glass, which I love. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say something about rimming, but you know what? Rimming the glass is just enough. Now I'm gonna go in with my tajin, and we're just gonna put the tajin on our plate. Do you guys ever eat it as candy or is it just me? Because I love just like having tahini by itself. I don't know if I'm the only one. If you guys do it the way that I do, let me know. So once your uh, rim is already nice and moist from the lime or lemon. Is this a lemon or a lime? Anyways. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and do that with our other one. Perfect. By the way, guys, if you guys are seeing that the set is a little bit different, it's because Alex and I broke up, you guys. Like, we're no longer together, and it's been, like, so sad. I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, no, but I had to film at home today because I went out, and I anticipated my arrival um, a lot earlier, so by the time I got home, Alex was unavailable to film. So, we are filming from home, but he is with us in spirit, guys. Okay, David, if you could just do like, throw Alex somewhere on the screen. He's here with us in spirit, guys. Okay, so through the magic of YouTube, we're gonna go ahead and add some ice, and then we're gonna go ahead and try these out. David, like, can you just, like right now, like just make the ice. Oh, jeez. 
There we go. Jeez. Oh, it only took 80,000 tries. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and open these guys up. Now, again, Painted Docky, this is the pineapple. We're looking at about 4.2 alcohol percent. It's just made with tequila, sparkling water, and natural flavors. According to Total Wine, we are looking at 100% agave tequila, natural flavors, and sparkling water. Let's see if there's anything else that we need to learn about this. Again, it was I hate it when these um, tequila brands don't have websites because I want to go ahead and look into it and, and you know do my research and see where it comes from. Give me a little bit more detail about the tequila. I mean, I'm basically doing free promotion and y'all can't even give me a website. However, they do have an Instagram page. I'm going to go ahead and set a picture right here. And you guys can go ahead and check them out if you guys choose to do so. But yes, let's go ahead and open these guys. We're going to start off with the watermelon. And give us a nice little pour. It's definitely giving us that seltzer, um, you know, look that we have from other drinks, such as like your White Claws and your Trulies and I don't know what else you guys drink I normally don't drink seltzers it's not for me it's not usually my type of uh, beverage I usually like drinking uh, the tequila straight or if I'm having a margarita seltzers just have never really been my thing but let's go ahead and try these guys out just as I thought <laughs> That's all I freaking smell all right so again this is our watermelon this is our pineapple cheers guys I don't taste watermelon however it could be because the first thing that I taste is just the tahini so it could possibly be that I'm just getting uh, that taste before I get the actual uh, beverage itself so we'll go ahead and try a second sip yeah so I'm not getting that um, watermelon flavor however I mean it's good it's not bad as I mentioned, I normally don't drink seltzers anyways. They're not really my thing. However, of course, we saw tequila. We have to try them out. So I don't get the flavor of watermelon, but it's pretty good. I'm not, I wouldn't uh, say no to it if, if offered. If it's the only beverage there, I'm definitely not going to turn it down. Now we're going to go ahead and try the pineapple. And cheers, guys. Salute. No. Well. <laughs> I definitely taste some pineapple. It's very faint though. I'm thinking if I try it without like the tahin, without the eyes, and we just try it straight from the can, how that would taste. And see if I could get more of those uh, taste of the watermelon and the pineapple. So let's go ahead and try those out. See if we get any of hints of that watermelon. Okay. So I'm starting to think that with the ice, with the tahini, you're definitely not going to taste it as much, especially with the tahini. The tahini is definitely going to overpower the flavor that is the watermelon. But if you drink it straight from the can, I can guarantee that you're gonna taste some hints of watermelon in there for sure. Yeah, for sure you're definitely gonna taste it. So now let's go ahead and try with the pineapple and see if we get any hints of that. Hmm, it's kind of crazy. So with the pineapple in the cup with the ice and the tahini, I'm getting more of that flavor. I don't know, maybe like the ice helps, you know, bring out the taste a little bit more, that it's colder. I don't know. I could just be making this up. I've been drinking all day. Again, part of the reason why I was late today is because I was in Palm Springs. So who knows? I could be pretty fucked up at this point, but I don't think I am. Okay, now I still taste some pineapple. Okay, so I'm not entirely crazy. However, with the watermelon, I'm definitely gonna say that you could taste it a lot more 
when you're drinking it straight from the can. I would say just throw these in the fridge. I wouldn't drink it with the honey personally. I didn't like that combination. So thank you, but no thank you. I'm not gonna go ahead and drink it that way. I'll probably just have these cold. Okay, perfect. So, uh, oh my gosh. You guys, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> they better cut that shit out you better not keep it in there okay guys so after further review after further review geez cut after further consideration i have decided that my favorite one is going to be the watermelon i think the watermelon tastes a lot better i really like it just straight out of the can like this i'm not gonna mix it with any ice, the hand, I'm not gonna try to make it fancy. I think this is definitely the seltzer for me. Again, I'm not really big into seltzers, but I can definitely see myself drinking these. I really like the flavor, I really like the taste of watermelon. It just, it's so smooth, obviously. Because we're only dealing with 4.2 alcohol percentage, I'm thinking I could probably down an entire pack of this compared to what I normally drink. So this is great, it's a great, um beverage to have if you guys are going out for like the weekend and you guys want something nice and something light you guys don't want to get super trash this is just going to keep you happy definitely would recommend these i would give the watermelon a i'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5 and i'm gonna go ahead and give the pineapple a 2.5 out of 5 the pineapple just didn't really do it to me I will say normally I'm not a big fan of pineapple anyways, but it would have been nice to taste the pineapple. I didn't get much hint of the pineapple other than when it was in the cup with um, the ice. I don't know, again, no expert. I don't know if that activates the flavors a little bit more. However, I just didn't get much of the uh, notes of that pineapple. The watermelon though, definitely liked it, definitely enjoyed it. Okay guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I want to give a shout out first and foremost to my producer slash director, Alex. I know you couldn't be with us today, Alex, but you're here in spirit. And a huge shout out to my editor, David. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that bell notification so you know when it is time for another Thank You Lot Tuesday. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next week.